Christian people, followers of Jesus Christ, who was himself a worker, the son of a carpenter who carried out his ministry among the builders, the metal workers, the farmers, the fishers, the basket weavers, the tent makers, the day laborers, and the housekeepers of ancient Galilee. These were his people. These were the people Jesus came to serve and save. So I, so I find it hard to understand that any Christian from any time or place might fail to affirm the sacred value of labor. I find it hard to understand that those who claim to be followers of Jesus Christ might refuse to celebrate the holy dignity of those who work. I am mystified that any child of God might ever find it acceptable to deny a living wage and a safe work environment to those who hold our world together by their blood, sweat, and tears. Workers must be treated fairly. Why? Because God has treated us fairly. And because it is God's will that we share the blessings that we have received with those who labor on our behalf. From God's perspective, the issue is not how little we can pay in order to maximize our profits, but how much we ought to pay to ensure that our workers and their families are able to lead healthy, productive, and fulfilling lives. Deuteronomy 24, 15. Faith that is true faith manifests itself through lives of generosity rather than greed, through lives of compassion rather than self-interest, and through lives of justice rather than oppression. Faith that is true faith builds a world where all are secure and where all have enough. Not to be just is not to follow Jesus. Not to be just is not to follow Jesus. Not to pay a living wage, wage is to set ourselves in opposition to God. You know, I seldom speak openly and boldly passionately in my sermons about political issues confront, confronting this city, our state, and this nation. However, with Measure N, I feel I need to do so. Measure N is a law that guarantees a living wage is long overdue here. <clears throat> For too long, we have forced our sisters and brothers to work two or more long, hard jobs just to get by just to support their families. This is not fair. It is not just. It is not godly. I cannot tell you how to vote. It is against our IRS status. <laughs> but lead my, read my lips. I hope that you will seriously study our United Methodist Social Principles Statement on Economic Community. And I hope that you will talk to some hotel workers to learn just how crucially important this issue, this city, this referendum, city referendum is for them.